Hola YouTube, if you are new to this channel, my name is Sam Kalma. I talk about my life here in the shoebox, my adventures and misadventures. Alright, how long does it take to open a traditional savings account? It'll take you about an hour, two hours. Go to the bank, fill up some forms, submit it, put your initial deposit and get it done, right? So that will maybe take you about two hours the most or the least, right? So, but here's a question. How much is the initial deposit for this savings account? It's usually 5,000 pesos. And the initial amount is also the maintaining balance that you have to maintain within that savings account. So that means you cannot withdraw anything over that amount. So you gotta maintain 5,000 pesos for that savings account to be active. What if I tell you there's a better way? Would you wanna know? I hope so. And here you go. All you need is a verified GCAS account. If you don't have a verified GCAS account, you need one valid government ID and you can open a GCAS account and get your account verified. Why is it better? The initial deposit is at zero pesos. The maintaining balance, zero, it's also at zero pesos. And this is the big advantage. The interest rate is at 3.1% compared to 0.25% from traditional banks. That's a big advantage if you ask me. Also, it's regulated by the Banco Central of the Philippines and it's PDIC insured up to up a million pesos, same as traditional banks. It is powered by CIMB Bank, which also operates in Malaysia and Singapore and it's one of the biggest banks in Southeast Asia. Are you ready to open one? Let's go! In easy five steps. Go, out, go ahead and get your phone. No, I'm just kidding. I know you're using your phone to watch this video. So here are the five steps after you've done watching this video. Step one is to open your GCAS account and enter your, your MPIN. Just a word of advice, don't share this PIN with anyone. Step two, after entering your PIN, it's gonna open the GCAS main main page or main screen. Now look for the icon that says uh, GCAS save account. Tap that, piggy bank, and start, start saving some money. S step three, it's gonna show you a screen to say start your saving journey. It's then also shows uh, an icon that says open a savings account. Again, step three, tap that one. And what's gonna happen now in the background, it's gonna validate your eligibility to open a savings account. If you have a verified uh, profile in GCash, you'll be eligible to open a savings account. On the eligibility screen, with step four, tap open savings account again. After that, step five, you're already done. Now you just open a savings account through GCash. Next steps will be finding your savings account. If you blink your traditional savings account or checking account on your GCAS account, then you can transfer money from those traditional account to your GCAS savings account and GCAS savings account back to your traditional account. Or if you don't have that linked, you can go to convenience stores like 7-Eleven or Ministop and tell them you want to load your GCAS account or go to SM Supermarket or SM Superstore and they also cater to that one. That's it. In under five minutes and you got a savings. Oh wait, another option to find your GCAS account or GCAS savings account. It's almost Christmas, right? So you got Ninos and Ninos. Your aunt and uncles. Now that you open a GCAS savings account, you can tell them Christmas is not canceled, right? So, Ninong Ninong, you can send me some cash and Gcash. Here's my number. Send me cash maybe, right? So you can do that and just save your money. 
for Christmas. And these are parting words for you. Now that you have a savings account, what are your savings goal for the coming year? 2020 is coming to an end. It's December. It's the third week of December. What are, what are your savings plan for 2021? For me, personally, I'll be transferring 500 pesos to my GCAS account every month. That will save me 6,000 pesos for the year. How about you? Are you going to do the same? 500 pesos a month. Remember that. Just transfer it to GCAS savings account at 6,000 pesos for a year. That's not even counting 3.1% APR that you're going to earn for that savings account. Again, this is Sam Kama from our shoebox in Detroit, Michigan. Happy saving and thank you. Bye.